the first thing that I want to talk about here when it comes to um, the bad cases of one eye, well, let's let's first define what that looks like. Um, this guy that I talked to the other day, trouble sleeping at night, asking questions over and over of himself in the relationship, why he can't get closure with her, um, having a very hard time. Feel like when I asked him on a scale of one to ten, what he thought his value was. He couldn't even answer that. It was like less than nothing is basically what he said. He felt worthless. And I get the feeling. I've been there, done it, got the t-shirt. Um, I've, trust me, I've, I've been through it. I've, I've, I've been the alpha, I've been the beta and everything in between. I know what the reform process looks like and I know how difficult it is to unplug and deal with. Um, it's really just a lot of pain for guys. You know what I'm saying? Like they really get stuck on this notion that they did all the right things and yet he, they still get screwed over. And I get that's why they get pissed off. Um, what does uh, Chris say here? Do the work, guys. The best version of yourself daily. Absolutely, yeah. So if you guys want to grab some of these uh, shirts and stuff, it's in the Teespring store. Of course, got all my you know mugs and stuff. This one's the uh, Chase Excellence Not Women mug. Um, you, you, know, you can always support the channel that way. So it's... It's a bad case of one day. So this is what the problem is. You can't function. Most of these guys become unproductive at work. They're asking questions of themselves. Sometimes they even like take serious consideration to, um, you know, permanent steps to a temporary problem in their life. If you know what I mean, you guys can figure that one out for yourselves. But they get really, really de depressed and they spin out of control and they don't know what to do with themselves. Um, I always tell these guys, look, you know, one day you're going to look back on this coaching call with me and you're going to think, why did I even bother? Why did I even care? Why did I put so much energy and emphasis in trying to understand why this woman did this, that, and the other things to me sort of thing? And the starting point's a good point to try to get some clarity, but the whole getting stuck on this one that they think has some, some, some value that they're never going to find anywhere else. That's one of the first problems guys have is because they often get into LTRs and this is how they jeopardize relationships and often get, get dumped. Um, I did a video in the car the other day about this. So one of the points that I made in it was if you get into an LTR with a chick, you're going to wife her up or anything like that. She can't for a moment believe that she can only ever be the only one for you. Okay. She has to have, this underlying belief, and I'm not saying it needs to be overtly stated like you are replaceable, but she needs to have an underlying understanding that she will never have all dibs on your intimacy and your attention all the time. It has to be earned continuously. Women have to know that they're replaceable. And again, you don't overtly state, look woman, you're replaceable. Some guys might. But it has to be communicated covertly through your actions, through your choices, through the decisions you make, how you, you know, how you go about life. And that's one of the first mistakes a lot of guys make. You know, they, they start, um, and you'll see this a lot around Thanksgiving, uh, anniversaries, around holidays, around birthdays, uh, and a lot of guys do it. I've even seen some guys that you would, that you would look at as, you know, you might define as an alpha sort of um, e-celeb, you know, somebody that... Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but you'll know who I'm talking about when you see it. Because when you see in the code, when you see the code in the matrix, you just can't miss it anymore. And they'll and they'll go and post a picture on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, or something like that of some woman. And this guy did one the other day. This this chick had more red flags than a Chinese communist parade. I mean, already covered in tattoos, right? Sleeves. And, you know, praising, she's the best thing ever, blah, 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 blah. But it, but it starts with some story or some narrative about how she didn't want to give him any attention and she dumped him after a couple of dates sort of thing. But they managed to work it out and she's uh, his rock, you know, sort of thing. Like, you know, okay, this is the one. This is the one rock. This is the one unicorn all of a sudden. All the other ones weren't, right? Like this one's all of a sudden super special beyond your ex-wife and the, you know, I don't know, 20 other girlfriends and 300 other um you know, FWBs you might have had in between then and there. It's it's just a it's just an unrealistic belief that a lot of guys subscribe to. It just doesn't work. So inviting the wrong woman in when you have a broken belief system, you're you're guaranteed, you're you're setting yourself up for one itis. You're setting yourself up for uh 
not being able to be productive, you're setting yourself up for depression. You really are. This is, this is the importance of the discussions that I have in this playlist. This is the importance and the significance of the playlist that I have, uh, the red pill dating stuff for, for men. You can check that out on my channel. Just go to the playlist one day. If you know, if you have some time to kill, go to the playlist on my channel and organize it. And you'll see the one there, red pill for men. There's probably well over a hundred videos in that. Every single one of those videos has a tight soundbite that defines an important term, a new belief that guys need to adopt to do better in the world. Trust me on this. So we've talked about the starting point, uh, being a non-starter, you know, getting, getting into something that is not going to work out in the long run. I see it all the time, guys. You'll start to see it too, where you'll be like, okay, this one's, the clock's ticking down. You know, the minute that he starts praising her, putting up on a, a pedestal, calling her a unicorn, she's the only one for me, blah, 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 insert the narrative, the clock is ticking down to the end of that relationship. Could be three months, could be three years, but I guarantee you, guy carries on in that path where he acts like she can only ever be the only one. The clock is ticking down to the end of that. 